what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how i made my nails go from looking a hot mess to looking like i just stepped out of a salon from the comfort of my own home using the double dip kit set so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and let's get into the video so guys this time around i'll be showing you guys how i did my nails with double dip starter kit and let me tell y'all this thing this starter kit is basically like the easiest way you can do your nails at home and not only is it a dip powder but it's also acrylic powder so a dip it dip in acrylic powder in one and these are just some swatches of what i got in my starter kit you can purchase your own starter kit with my code i have a 20 percent off code i'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can use it so throughout the video i'll be showing you guys more of what came in the starter kit that i got but let me just show y'all so they send you with your starter kit you will get a instruction booklet that will show you step by step how to use your dip liquids and what order to use them in and really honestly they have little numbers on each of the dip liquid bottles so it's pretty easy they make it really really simple and for me the colors help as well i love stuff that's color coded <laughs> so in the red bottle we have the dip base which we're going to put on our nails first in the yellow bottle we have the activator which goes on the nails after we're finished with the dip and we're ready to shape our nails and then lastly we have the dip top coat and that's after everything is finished nice little top coat shine and then they also have some cuticle oil too so after we're finished we're going to throw some cuticle oil on those cuticles but now let's get started so this is how my nails look at first real crusty real dusty i know <laughs> so this next part i do is optional you can choose to do the dip without tips or with tips i just choose to do it with tips because i want an almond shape and to do that i need some length on my nails so i chose some little nail tips i was a little skeptical with this because these nail tips aren't as sturdy as the other nail tips that i use but i ran out of those so i'm gonna have to use what i got so we're gonna start with some prepping so what i do to prep is i just remove the shine off of my natural nail bed by buffing it out a little bit I'm using the buffer that Double Dip provided in their starter kit, but you guys can also use an e-file to remove the shine or just a regular nail file. A buffer works just fine. This buffer is working just fine, honestly. So this is what I'm using and I'm just going to speed it up so we're not sitting here on this video all day. <laughs> But after we finish buffing, we're going to start pushing back those cuticles with a cuticle pusher. And as you can see, all the shine is removed from my natural nails, so that's all good. And I'm just going to take the cuticle pusher that they provided in the starter kit as well, and I'm just going to push all of my cuticles back. So this starter kit is similar to what I will be giving away in my birthday giveaway. If you guys need more information on that, I will include it in the description down below. Just to let you guys know though, so the only thing that you're required to do if you win is to pay for shipping. Shipping is only $5 and that's the only thing you need to pay for. The starter kit is all free. Double Dip is handling all of that. But I feel like I had to throw that in there because I don't think many people read that part in my giveaway requirements video. But it's fine. I will keep on reminding you guys that throughout on my Instagram as well. So yeah. So right now I put on my tips off camera. Um, I didn't feel like I had to record that. If y'all want me to make a video applying tips, I will. But I don't think y'all need a video on that, honestly. <laughs> but I'm just picking my length and I want to do an almond shape so I don't want them to be that long but I want it to be long enough to wear like I can go back and make it shorter if I need to but I generally like my almond to be short so we're just going to start it off like this and we're going to go from there so I'm just taking my nail file and I'm just going to shape show you guys how I shape this one nail into an almond shape I'm not going to show you guys how I do every nail but basically what I'm doing is I'm just rounding out the little sharp corners of the nail 
and I start by rounding those corners out and then I take my file and I file it at a slant and try to round the whole thing out and that's basically what I'm going to do for every nail so I didn't feel like I had to show myself shaping every nail but if you guys really want a detailed video on shaping on how I shape my nails I have a video on that on my channel so be sure to go check that out but yeah as you can see like it's already starting to round out and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all like almond is like my favorite shape but it's like the hardest for me to do because it's like hard for me it's hard to get like that perfect almond shape on every single nail but like honestly guys it just it gets better with time with time that's really with everything with nails it just gets better with time <laughs> And that's my shape that I ended up with but off camera I shortened it a little bit and shaped it up a little bit tightened it up a little bit more and then that's the final look right there so off camera I went on and shaped my nails and this is how they look and I'm gonna do the same exact thing to my right hand off camera as well I'm really not gonna focus too much on my right hand I'm gonna focus on my left of course but I just wanted to show you guys this little replacement bag that you'll get with your starter kit. Um, it comes with a nail file, a nail buffer, which y'all saw before. And then <laughs> right now I'm about to use it to buff out all my tips because I forgot to do that. And then it comes with a cuticle pusher like y'all saw before. And then it comes with a whole bunch of replacement brushes for your dip liquids. And with the kit, they also give you this cute little fluffy brush. I love this brush. And right now I'm using it to dust off all of the nail dust on my nails from filing. And then we're going to get started with some nail dip. So I chose this white color um, nail dip from Double Dip that came with my starter kit. And now we're gonna take our base dip and then we're gonna do our first coat of dip powder. So the base dip is the dip with the red top. So we're gonna take that one and then we're gonna do one coat of base dip on my thumb. I think I start with my thumb, yep. And we're gonna just do one coat. And it's really honestly a thin layer a thin coat I didn't put too much on there I just did one coat and then we're just going to dip it in the powder so you really want to make sure you don't get any of the dip liquid on your skin that way when you dip your thumb or your finger rather into the dip it doesn't go on to your skin and then you're not really making a big mess <laughs> so now we're just dipping it into the dip and that'll be our first coat of dip so i had somebody ask me on tiktok about the dip getting all over the place and making a mess so it does make a mess like <laughs> that isn't escapable i tried to like dust it back into the container but um, later on, I'm going to bring out a paper towel. I will lay a paper towel out before I start, you know, dusting and getting the um, dip all over the place. I just got a little too excited about doing this set and I forgot all about the paper towel. But um, right here, I'm taking the same dip base and I'm going back over it. And we're going to keep going back over the nail with the dip base and we're going to dip it back in the dip. And we're basically going to repeat this step until we have our desired thickness in the nail. I honestly was a little scared because as you can see the nail tip is like visible. And I was afraid that as I kept dipping it will still be visible. But it actually wasn't a problem like as you keep piling different layers on top it you really can't tell that I have a nail tip on 
And as I keep doing layers, you guys will start to see that harsh line where my nail, my natural nail meets the tip, it starts to disappear. And it, everything is gonna fuse into one. It's gonna be one smooth surface. And I believe all together I did five layers of dip. So I just kept doing it until I was satisfied, like I said before, until you're satisfied with the thickness. There's no set amount of times that you should dip. It's all up to you, honestly. All right, and with that being said, I am all finished with my, well, with my thumb. <laughs> And I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks and how thick it is. And as you can see, you can't see that harsh line anymore. So we're going to move on to the rest of the nails. And basically, I'm just doing the same thing I did with the thumb. I'm going to speed everything up so we're not sitting here all day, like I said before. But um, I'm basically going to do one layer of face dip. And I'm going to dip my pointer finger in it. And then I'm gonna do one layer on every finger and then we're gonna come back to the pointer finger and do a second layer and then go through all the fingers and really just do round them up like that. I'm not gonna do one finger at a time anymore. But as y'all can see, I brought my paper towel out and this will really help kind of like minimize your cleaning up time because that powder, it will get, it won't get, it, it won't get all over the place like it won't go crazy but it will be a little messy on the table that you're doing it on so i do recommend you lay out a paper towel first and then start with your dip so like i said before this look is achievable with this starter kit as a dip and as acrylic so if you have monomer you can use this powder as acrylic as well and i think that's what i love about double dips um nail powders because it's so versatile you can go either way so like i said before i will put my code up on the screen you can get 20 percent off on me on their site and they have just about every color um i love their pastel colors personally because I just love pastel. <laughs> so make sure you just go on their site and browse and just see what they have available because they have like a numerous amount of starter kits that you can choose from. So make sure you check them out. So I was finished with my first layer and I just decided to do all the rest of the layers off camera. I think I did in total of five layers like my thumb. I probably did a couple extra layers on some fingers because I wasn't really satisfied with the thickness. But now we're gonna take our activator liquid and I'm gonna put it on each of my fingers and then we're gonna get started with shaping the nails, well, reshaping the nails. So I'm just gonna take the activator and we're just gonna do one coat of activator on each nail. And this is really gonna harden the dip to make it more shapeable, I guess you can say. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I'm just what I'm doing. I'm gonna put activator on each finger, and then I'm gonna take my nail file, and then we're just gonna reshape the nails. They didn't like they still look pretty good. I just really want to reshape them and kind of buff the nails a little bit because I do see some bumps and lumps in the nails. So I just want to smooth out the surface of the nail. And I'm gonna do that with my buffer. So to shape the nails, I'm using the nail file that they provided in the starter kit to reshape them. And honestly, it doesn't take that much to whip it back into shape. They file down very easily, so you really don't have to do it too much. I'm filing down really lightly. Like I'm not filing down too hard. So yeah, I'm just gonna file down each of my nails and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna buff it down so that there's no lumps and bumps because I don't know if y'all can see, but in certain angles, you can really see like how bumpy it is. And that's fixable. Just need to buff it down a little bit. So we're gonna smooth them out. As you can see, I'm just rounding out my the tip of my nail it back into shape all right so 
so I'm back. We are cleaned up a little bit because it got a little messy. <laughs> but I'm taking my buffer and I'm going to buff out my nails. And we're going to get all the bumps and lumps off of the surface of the nail so it looks nice and smooth and it has a smooth finish to it. And then after that, we can put our top coat on and then we're done. So after buffing my nails, I would suggest that you wash your hands so that all of the, the dust is off of your nails. So whenever you put your top coat on, it goes on nice and smooth and you don't have any dust particles kind of still laying on your nail bed. So right here I have the dip top coat and that's going to be blue. And I'm just going to put one layer of the top coat and that should be enough. There is no UV lamp needed. You don't need a nail lamp. It dries pretty quickly. You just need to put one coat of it on top and then let it dry. It dries very quickly so you don't have to, there's really no drying time honestly. But you, I will do only one coat. I really don't recommend doing more than one coat because that will really kind of make it, the nail look bulkier. So one coat works fine and then it gives it a nice shine, a nice finish to it. We're all finished. Now all that's left to do is to put cuticle oil on those cuticles and we're all finished. So I'm just going to apply this cuticle oil on my cuticles and lather them all up because they are pretty dry. And then we'll be all done. And this is the finished look guys. If you watched this far, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And if you enter the giveaway, I will be announcing the giveaway winners on my birthday, which is October 15th. So stay tuned for that. But um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.